welcome and thank you for watching this video if you want to find out how to gain true biblical salvation listen to this video i'm gonna go right to scripture no opinions just strictly on what the word of god says let's look at scripture now the bible tells us to live by every word of god luke chapter 4 verse 4 when jesus was responding to the devil tempting him he answered him saying it is written that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word of god now we must know where every word of god is i believe every word is in the king james bible and i say that because I can find errors in any other book so if there's any errors you can find in the King James please let me know I'll be the first one to say you know what I don't think this is it but currently I haven't found any errors in the King James Bible so let's continue in Romans chapter 3 verse 19 it says now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God in Acts chapter 4 verse 10 verse through 12 be it known unto you all and to all the people of israel that by the name of jesus christ of nazareth whom ye crucified whom god raised from the dead even by him though this man stand here before you hold this is the stone which was set at not of you builders which is become the head of the corner neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved we have to come to the realization that we're sinners Isaiah 64 and 6 but we are all as an unclean thing and all our righteousness are as filthy rags and we all do fade as a leaf and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away it says in 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 for he have made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him and Hebrews 4 and 15 says but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin first Corinthians 15 1 through 4 I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you by which also ye are saved if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you unless ye have believed in vain Jesus Christ died for our sins according to the scripture he was buried he rose on the third day according to the scriptures and he was seen of Cephas and of the twelve and he was also seen of above 500 brethren at once in Colossians chapter 1 verse 14 it says in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins you see we're only redeemed through the precious blood of Jesus Christ it says that in first Peter 1 and 19 it says that in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 12 and verses 24 and 26 you see the traditions of man had taught us incorrectly when we look at scripture repentance doesn't save you let's go look at Acts 20 and 21 it says testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ so repentance in itself does not save you we need to believe in the book of John believe or believe it comes up over 85 times and the word repent or repentance comes up zero times so the Bible emphasizes believe for a reason let's look at John chapter 3 verse 36 he that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life and he that believeth not the Son shall not see light but the wrath of God abideth on him in John 3 16 it says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life now it's it says in 18 he that believeth on him is not condemned but he that believeth not is condemned already because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God and that's Jesus Christ that's the only way that sin has no hold on us is if we believe on the only name Jesus Christ it says that in Luke 19 10 for the son of man is come to seek and to save which was lost that was me that's you stay just as you are it says Says in Ephesians 2 and 8 for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest any man should boast there's no work that we can do it says in verse 10 for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works 
which God has before ordained, we should walk in them. You see, all the good works is in Christ. There's nothing good that we can do. Isaiah 64 and 6, for, for all of our righteousness is like filthy rags. And it says that we should walk in them. You see that we have a choice. But he wants us to believe in Ephesians 1, 13 and 14. In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. You see, an inheritance, you can't do anything to earn. It's already yours. It comes from your father. He says, believe on him and you are born of him. And that's 1 John 5 and 1. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone that loveth him, that begot loveth him also that is begotten of him you see in acts chapter 10 verse 43 it says to him give all the prophets witness that through his name whosoever believe in him shall receive remission of sins so stop working to earn salvation there's nothing you can do to work for it there's no work that you can do that's gonna work up and reckon grace is gonna reckon debt let's look at romans chapter 3 verse 4 yea let god be true but every man a liar as it is written verse 12 goes on to say that there is none that do of good no not one Romans chapter 4 verse 2 for if Abraham were justified by works he hath whereof to glory but not before God for what saith the scripture Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him for righteousness now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace but of debt but to him that worketh not but believe on him that justified the ungodly his faith is counted for righteousness even as David also describeth the blessedness of the man unto whom God imputed righteousness without works Acts 16 verse 30 and brought them out and said sirs what must I do to be saved and they said believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved and thy house amen